The drivers heading for Blackpool or the Lake District should allow for queues on the approach to the M6 intersection near Junction 30 at Preston, where there were long queues yesterday. And the South End Air Show is expected to attract upwards of 600,000 people this afternoon, so allow for severe delays around the show as some seafront roads will be closed and all approaches will be congested. So do drive carefully wherever you are. And now on Radio 2, we recall one of the most popular request shows from the days when we were known as The Light Programme. It ran for 21 years, from 1946 to 1967, and for 20 of those years, George Elric was a regular presenter. So now, housewives, and house husbands for that matter, sit back and put your feet up, because Mrs Elric's wee son George is once again your host for Housewives' Choice. morning, housewives. My goodness, it's a long time since I said that to all my ladies of the household. But thanks to the BBC Radio 2, here I am once again with another edition of Housewives' Choice. Well, I asked you to send in your requests and memories, and you certainly did that. They came in by the hundreds. So I promise not to talk too much, because then we can get more requests in. And it's you I'm visiting first, Mary Johnson, in Chilwell, Knotts, because you've asked for a record I often used to open the show with, and which you say will bring all the memories flooding back. And I hope you won't mind sharing it with Barbara Maud at Street Lane Leeds, who also wants to hear the same song for herself and her husband. Here you are then, ladies, fond memories with Henry Hall and a nice cup of tea for all of you. Nice cup of tea from Henry Hall. And yes, that was yours truly, 
in the vocals. Thanks to everyone who asked for one of my recordings, including Mrs. Ruby Blackhall of Bogitang, Durris in Aberdeenshire, and Beryl Lewis, who didn't give an address, Beryl. And for everyone who didn't ask for one of my records, don't worry, you'll not be hearing another one of today's programme. As you'll probably know, Housewife's Choice was on the air from 1946 till 1967, 21 glorious years. And in its heyday during the 1950s, I used to have to look through up to 3,000 requests every week. Well, here's a card from someone who used to tune in then, Mrs. Margaret Yates from Rochdale, Lancashire. Margaret says, I remember listening to Housewife's Choice in 1954. I was 15 at the time and had just left school to work in a small shirt factory. Every morning we had Housewife's Choice on the radio and at the time my friend and I were big fans of Guy Mitchell. His records were always being played. So, to bring back happy memories of those days, here's Guy singing, Look at that girl. Look at that girl, she's like a dream come true Ah, look at that girl, can blue eyes be so blue Look at the way she walks Listen when she talks With each word my heart just skips Oh, if I could kiss those lips Mm, Look at that girl, do you see what I see? Ah, look at that girl, she's walking straight to me That's right, last night I held her tight Ah, how it happens all the time I look at that girl and I can't believe she's a favourite with my ladies of the household in the 1950s and look at that girl now to Dorset and a visit to you Mrs Leah Smith in Dorchester you tell me that you are very fond of a particular tune which had caught your attention on Housewife's Choice and wrote in to hear it again but after several weeks you hadn't heard your name mentioned so you thought you'd try again this time in verse which I'll quote Why, oh, why is this housewife's cry? Do you always pass me by? Rose, Rose, I love you by Hwee Lee is played for others but not for me. A week later, you say, you heard me reading out your poem, followed by your request. Well, now, Mrs. Smith, I heard your cry once again for Hwee Lee. She sings, Rose, Rose, I love you, even though your name is Leah. Thank you. 
That was Huey Lee with Rose, Rose, I Love You. In the old days, Housewives' Choice used to run from 9 o'clock until it was time for 5 to 10. Nowadays, here on Radio 2, Pause for Thought comes on around this time every weekday. And today is no exception. So it's my pleasure to welcome the Reverend Anne Easter, who's been telling me that she has her own memories of Housewives' Choice. Haven't you, Anne? Well, it's a long time ago, but my abiding memory of Housewife's Choice is a picture of my mother, who always knows all the words to all the songs, dancing with the dog. I know that sounds funny, but he loved dancing with her, and he would start jumping up as soon as the music started. And she used to hold him in her arms, quite oblivious to the family's laughter, and dance all around the living room. Somehow, in those days, the fire was always burning, yet it was always bright and sunny. And in my little hideaway under the table, I organised a Sunday school class, of course, consisting of Terry the teddy bear and Helen the doll. There was always a lovely smell coming from the kitchen and the aroma of freshly ironed clothes. In those days, my world was a safe place, warm and bright and happy. And the gentle and somehow very English strains of Housewife's Choice, Family Favourites, Listen With Mother and Home This Afternoon made the perfect background music. It's tempting to look back on those days with longing, not least as far as I'm concerned, because my mum can't walk anymore now, let alone dance. But it would be terribly dangerous to get caught in the nostalgia net. You know what they say, the past is a foreign country. They do things differently there. And of course, distance lending enchantment as it does, differently invariably means better than they do it now. And our temptation is to prefer that rosy, warm past to the present. But if we do that, we miss out on what's going on now. Jesus was very much a person of the moment. He said that anyone who started to plough and then kept looking back is of no use to the kingdom of God. And he'd get wobbly furrows. And he said that we're not to worry about the future either. Remember, he said, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Or, as they say in that great song from Kajal Fall, which I'm sure they play regularly on Housewife's Choice if there were one today, the best of times is now.
La Golandria, or The Swallow. That was specially for you, Mrs. Vera Woodhead, from Freshwater in the Isle of Wight. I don't suppose you're on the way to the airport today, Vera, or you might have almost missed your request again. <laughs> it seems from your letters and cards that some of you heard your requests in most peculiar places, like Phyllis Homewood, who writes, I remember in 1947 standing in a wet fish queue in a small covered market in Greenford, Middlesex, when over the Tannoy came my request for the wonderful Deanna Darbin singing Spring in My Heart. I was so surprised, I stepped out of the queue and went straight into the shop to tell the fellow it was specially for me. He looked at me in complete bewilderment, not surprised, but I just stood in that market and felt I was in paradise. Thanks for that wonderful moment, George. My pleasure, Phyllis. And here to put a little spring into your heart again is Deanna Darbin. <laughs> wonderful voice of Deanna Durbin and Spring in My Heart. As I said earlier, Housewife's Choice started in 1946, and although it became firmly associated with the old light programme, it wasn't in fact an original BBC idea. We've got Swedish radio to thank for that. Their request programme, aimed at Swedish housewives, had been a great success, so the BBC decided to try their own version. Not that everyone thought much of the idea, particularly some of the critics who claimed that a show relying on just gramophone records was simply an excuse for not making a real programme. Happily, the listeners didn't feel the same way. 
And Wynne Goldsack from Sockport in Cheshire writes me a wonderful chatty letter in which she recalls hearing the very first housewife's choice on Monday, March the 4th, 1946. Although she says, I didn't make an appearance until December that year. You're quite right. You say, Wynne, that the programme gave you and your children a lot of happiness, which sounds like a cue for a song from Ken Dodd. Take as much happiness as you can out of life, ladies, because there isn't much of it around today. Happiness, happiness, the greatest gift that I possess. I thank the Lord that I've been blessed with more than my share of happiness. To me, this world is a wonderful place. I'm the luckiest human in the human race. I've got no silver and I've got no gold, but I've got happiness in my soul. Happiness to me is an ocean tide, a sunset fading on a mountainside, a big old heaven full of stars above. When I'm in the arms of the one I love, oh, happiness, happiness, the greatest gift. That I possess I thank the Lord That I've been blessed With more than my share of happiness Happiness is a field of grain Turning its face to the falling rain I see it in the sunshine Breathe it in the air Happiness, happiness everywhere A wise old man told me one time Happiness is a frame of mind When you go to measuring a man's success Don't count money, count happiness Oh, happiness, happiness The greatest gift that I possess I thank the Lord that I've been blessed With more than my share of happiness Oh, happiness, happiness The greatest gift that I possess I thank the Lord that I've been blessed With more than my share of happiness I got more than my share of happiness Nice happy record from Ken Dodd Now it's good morning to Pat Turner of Highfield in Southampton she tells me that she also was a listener to Housewife's Choice in the early days. And as you say, Pat, of meat rationing and corned beef. Blech. She just returned from a shopping trip in time to hear the presenter apologising to the rest of the listeners for her choice of record. I'm sure it wasn't me, Pat, but whoever it was must have thought that Artie Shaw's frenesy was a bit on the jazzy side. Still, he did play it, says Pat, and I was pretty pleased with myself. Thank you. 
Friend of Sea, played by Artie Shaw and his band. And the flip side of that record, you were trying to remember, Pat Turner, was Adios, Mariquita, Linda. BBC Radio Goes to Town It's been east, it's been north, and now it's going west. The Radio Big Top is on the move again, and as the summer begins, what better place to go than the English Riviera? If you're on holiday, or if you should live in or near Torquay, then BBC Radio is coming to you. All this week, Radio Goes to Town offers you the chance to see radio at work, to have all your questions answered, and for you to have a go yourself at anything from reading the news to trying the latest in technology. Some of radio's brightest stars will be there for you to meet, from Radio 1's Adrian Just to Radio 2's Chris Stewart to The Archers from Radio 4. And the best news is that it's all free. Enjoy the fun of the air at Tor Abbey Meadows in Torquay. BBC Radio Goes to Town It's on all this week. And this is George Elric with your requests and memories of Housewife's Choice. Your turn now, Myrna Crook, from Llantwit Major in South Glamorgan, Wales. Your memory of Housewife's Choice is of Cardew the Cad Robinson presenting the programme. And of course, many famous names were asked to sit in the hot seat over the years. And although in the early days we were allowed to choose the records ourselves, we had to submit a complete script of what we intended to say, so that it could be checked and vetted by those in authority at the BBC. Not that I always stuck to what I'd written, but at least I never got into trouble. <laughs> anyway, back to your card, Myrna. You had the platter singing Smoke Gets In Your Eyes played for you on your 21st birthday 30 years ago. So here it is now for your 51st. gets in your eyes from the platters. Hello now to Anita Daniels of Leeds in Yorkshire, who tells me that when she was 16, she and her friend wrote in for Edmundo Ross singing the coffee song. 
Because they were both single at the time, they thought they'd better add Mrs. to their names in case the request wouldn't be otherwise played. That was cheating, Anita. We were thrilled when it came over the radio, she says, and we got all the girls to stop the machinery while we listened. My friend now lives in Australia, and I'm a married lady with three grown-up children and a grandchild. But if you play the coffee song again, I will dance around the living room and all the years will fade away. Well, I remember being sweet 16 again. So put on your dancing shoes, Mrs. Anita Daniels. Here's Edmundo Ross, and you're right. There is an awful lot of copy in Brazil. Which reminds me, bring me in a cup and die in, will you? Among Brazilians, coffee beans grow by the million, so they have to find those extra cups to fill. They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. You can't get cherry soda, cause they've got to sell their quota, and the way things are, I guess they never will. They've got a million tons of coffee in Brazil. No tea, or tomato juice, you see. Potato juice, cause the planters down in Santa all say no, no, no. A politician daughter was accused of drinking water and was fined a great big $50 bill. They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. Delicious, the coffee song from Edmundo Ross. And a lot of coffee in the BBC as well. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> now, I know you'll be listening today, Anne Hammond, in Thatcham, Berkshire, because you told me so in your card. So how could I disappoint you? Your special favourite has always been Nat King Cole, and he's a favourite of mine too. In fact, I interviewed him in New York in 1949. He was a lovely gentleman, and I prize the photograph taken with him. So let you and I enjoy his dance ballerina dance together. Ballerina dance And do your pirouettes In rhythm with your aching heart Dance, ballerina dance You mustn't once forget A dancer has to dance the part Whirl, ballerina whirl And just ignore the chair That's empty in the second row this is your moment, girl Although he's not out there applauding as you steal the show Once you said his love must wait his turn You wanted fame instead I guess that's your concern We live and learn And love is gone, ballerina gone 
Keeps on with your career You can't afford a backward glance Dance on and on and on A thousand people here Have come to see the show And round and round you go So ballerina dance Dance, dance World ballerina Once you said his love must wait its turn, you wanted fame instead. I guess that's your concern. We live and learn, and love is gone, ballerina gone. Son, with your career, you can't afford a backward glance. Dance on and on and on. A thousand people here have come to see the show. And round and round you go, ballerina dance. A dance. The fabulous voice of Nat King Cole with Dance Ballerina Dance. Now, as I think I said a little earlier, the presenters of Housewife Choice were expected to go through thousands of requests each week and choose their own programme of music. I used to love going to the BBC's record library in search of some of the more unusual songs. But in the final few years of the show during the 1960s, it was decided that the music should be chosen by the producer of the programme, just in case people like me had been got at by song pluggers. Mm. Well, today we've gone back to the old system. So when I saw several requests for Mantovani, I just couldn't resist including one because Monty and I were good friends for many many, many years. So it's you I'm saying hello to, Mrs. Underwood of Shirley in Solihull, to Mrs. Hilda Young of Battersea in London, and says she met me in Sunderland when she was a schoolgirl, although she doesn't say how old I was at the time. And finally, hello to you, Betty Coley of Atherstone in Warwickshire, with Mantovani, his orchestra, and some enchanted evening.
the unmistakable sound of Mantovani and his orchestra with that lovely tune from South Pacific, Some Enchanted Evening. Dear George, says his next card, I was a keen listener to Housewife's Choice, and when I met my husband at the time, he was always singing Cigarettes and Whiskey and Wild Wild Woman by Red Ingle and the Natural Seven. It would bring back happy memories to hear it again. Yes, Eileen Oliver, in the old Kent Road, London. It's your request that's next. So in answer to your please, 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 here it is. A preachment, dear friends, you're about to receive on John Barleycorn, Nicotine, and the Temptations of Eve. Okay, let's hear it if it's so good. <gasps> oh, once I was happy and had a good wife. <gasps> I had enough money to last me for life. I met with a gal and we went on a spree. She taught me to smoke and drink whiskey. Cigarettes and whiskey and wine. Definition, believe me, dear brother. A fire on one and a fool on the other. Cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women. And love you crazy, they'll drive you insane. Cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women. And love you crazy, they'll drive you insane. Safe temptation, will you? Dear friend. Somebody get that bum out of here. Brother, repent, or oh, they'll write on your grave. To women and whiskey, here lies a poor slave. Take warning, dear stranger, take warning, dear friend. Oh, they'll write in big letters these words at the end. Cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women. And drive you crazy, they'll drive you insane. Temptation. Uh, hold, hold it, bro hold it, brother. My friend, I'm afraid you're in the wrong place. We don't sing that kind of music here. Okay, then show us your muscles. <laughs> I think I'll stick to the coffee. Cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women from Red Ingle and the Natural Seven. Not for me. It's amazing how things never really change, isn't it? In my 20 years of presenting Housewife's Choice, one of the most consistently popular singers was Vera Lynn. And when I asked all you present-day ladies of the household to send me your requests, it was no surprise that Vera was once again top of the list. So here goes with some of them. Mrs. Dorothy Corcoran of Berry in Lancashire, Mrs. George of Hamworthy, Poole in Dorset, Mrs. Hilda Wilkins in Warwick, Mrs. Gwen Lonsdale of Maidstone, Kent, Rose Cullen, niece Silkwood, for all the girls who are in the Land Army with Rose at Wimborne and Dorset. Also for Jean Davies in Eastbourne, captain of her golf club this year. For Mrs. G. Farrer, Mrs. D. Goldsmith, Mrs. F. Mitchell, Mrs. J. Everett and the matron, all living in a beautiful Surrey home in Broome Park. And also for Mrs. John O'Neill of Keach Cottage, Banstead, and last but not least, all the lovely ladies in Butlin's house and the matron, Sally Gilmore. And the song Vera sings for all of you is I'll Be Seeing You. places that my heart and mind embraces all day through in that small cafe the path across the way the 
children's carousel, the chestnut trees, the wishing well. I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day. In everything that's light and gay, I'll always think of you that way. I'll find you in the morning sun, and when the night is new, I'll be looking at the moon. But I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places that my heart and mind embraces all I'll be seeing you from my very good friend for many years, Vera Lynn. It's funny, but when I left Ambrose, Vera joined Ambrose, and I had a lead alto by the name of Harry Lewis, and he joined Ambrose, and that's how he and Vera met and got married. And we've remained friends all through the years. How about that? Well, now, last request before the 10 o'clock news. It's many happy returns to you today, Mrs. Jean McCrudden. Happy birthday to you, Jean. Hope you have a nice party in North Highcombe and Lincoln. And here's something to stir your tartan blood. Another housewife's favourite, Jimmy Shand and the Bluebell Polka.
Jimmy Shand and the lovely Bluebell Polka. BBC Radio 2.